Hey guys, <laughs> welcome back. It's been a little while. I've uh, been crazy, crazy running, running, and I haven't had a chance to do the number 15, 16, and 17 I owe, which I'm probably gonna do all in one day if you're watching this live. <laughs> this is number 15 of the things I think I know. And funny enough, think and things are both in the title for today. And my uh, thesis for today is that there are no things, only thinks. How's that for deep and weird? <laughs> okay, so this is all about the nature of reality, right? What is real, what is not. And what I'm not going to argue, okay, let me be straight up in the, up front with this, uh, is that there aren't any things in a practical sense. In other words, this little clicker counter here exists, right? My phone that I'm talking into exists. My computer down here, my old mouse, they do exist. So I'm not arguing that there is no reality, right? None of that woo-woo stuff, okay? I promise you. What I am gonna say though is that <clears throat> In reality, there's only, there are no f distinct things. In other words, this mouse and this counter here, see, aren't actually separate. They're not. That, it's only separate. We use language, thinks. We think that they're separate, ergo they are. They're actually connected by the air between them, by molecules that exchange between them, molecules which also include liquids and water vapor, uh, my breath in the room, the same thing between me and you. We're connected via this phone, via the internet, via physically being on this earth. We're, we grow out of the earth in much the same way that an apple grows on an apple tree, right? This earth makes people and a lot of other things. <laughs> See, you, you thought I was going to say things, but I didn't. Uh, all these, but all these things are just aspects of the whole of reality, which includes everything that we think we know about the universe and its entirety, which we don't know that much about, quite frankly. We have a very limited view on it. If there is a thing, it's the entire universe and everything in it is just an aspect of it because it's all directly physically connected to each other. I mean, whether you believe in a God that created it or whether you believe in a Big Bang Theory or some kind of mix in between, it doesn't make any difference. They all originated somewhere in the same place. It's all part of the same thing, one there are no separate things. Now, that the reason we have things in our mind, I think, is because it's really difficult to talk about the universe, the whole universe, because it's not very practical, right? I mean, if I want to get something done on this phone, I have to talk about phone. I have to have a word for it. I have to separate it out and say, this is what I'm talking about. That's why we have language it's to distinguish between ideas about these so-called so separate things, but they're not actually separate. And it's fine that we think they are and operate on that level because it works most of the time, uh, but it's good to remember that they're not actually separate, that it's really just an idea in our head that they are. Uh, because what we do is we tend to set up borders between ourselves and other people, between ourselves and other things. Well, that's a bad thing. I'm a, I'm a good thing. That's a good person. I'm a good person. That's a bad person. Whatever. And those are not particularly useful distinctions. They just aren't. So, uh, no things, just things. It's an idea to think about. I like that. A lot of thinking going on here today. All right. <laughs> I think I'm going to go, think I'm going to go, and let this one drop for now. <laughs> All right, guys, take it easy. We'll see you shortly.